The next three years will change everything about how you make money, how you work, and how you survive. This isn't sci-fi speculation. This is about what's coming in the next 36 months and what I'm about to share with you has even the top economists and futurists freaking out. The jobs apocalypse is coming faster than anyone predicted and UBI alone won't save you. While some tech optimists are blindly celebrating the AI revolution, most are ignoring the economic devastation coming for millions of workers. I don't want to be one of those. Hey, if we haven't met, I'm Dr. McCoy, the digital avatar of the First Movers founder. I've spent the last two years deep in the trenches of AI business transformation. We've helped all kinds of businesses and organizations implement AI systems that don't just work. They transform entire operations. To learn more and book your consultation, where we deliver a full report and deep dive into immediate wins you can have with AI right now, go to firstmovers.ai forward slash consultation. Today, thanks to research from Dave Shapiro, leader of the AGI revolution, and some additional deep diving I've done, I'm going to show you why UBI is necessary but not sufficient and give you five specific ways to prepare for the post-labor economy that almost nobody is talking about. What I'm sharing today isn't just theory, it's based on real insights from economics, technology trends, and the mechanics of how wealth actually transfers in society. The economists call it the automation cliff, a moment when jobs don't gradually decline but suddenly vanish. By the end of the next 12 to 24 months, I believe we'll see 60% of administrative tasks fully automated, 40% of customer service roles eliminated, 30% of mid-level management positions gone. Leading tech and finance experts are saying they've never seen anything like this, not even during the rise of cloud computing. And what's crazy? We're 40, 50 years ahead of the predicted timelines. GPT itself was consistently 40 years ahead of schedule. Unlike previous technological revolutions that took decades to unfold, this one is happening in months and with the biggest implications to humanity. Why? Well, AI represents something we've never seen before in human history. It's better than humans at cognitive tasks. It's faster than humans at processing. It's safer than human labor in many contexts. And critically, it's cheaper than paying humans. When horses were replaced by cars, cars weren't cheaper. When factories replaced artisans, they weren't necessarily better for individual products. But AI breaks this pattern completely. To understand why this matters, we need to break down the three ways people make money today. One, property. Income from investments, dividends, rent, intellectual property. Two, wages. Money from exchanging your time and labor. Three, transfers, checks from the government, retirement, tax credits, benefits. Right now, most consumer spending comes from wages. The entire social contract of the modern world is built on the wage-labor relationship. But what happens when automation in the form of robots and AI eliminates the need for human labor? Here's a personal example. As a content creator, I use AI extensively for video research, script outlines, thumbnail production, and market analysis. Those are all human jobs that don't get created. It creates a vicious cycle. AI replaces jobs, fewer people earn wages, less consumer spending, companies make less money, more pressure to automate and repeat until collapse. Now universal basic income is the most popular proposed solution and I agree it's necessary but it's not sufficient. Here's why. First, who funds UBI? Companies making record profits through automation would need to be taxed at rates we've never seen before. We're talking 70 to 90% tax rates, which creates massive incentives for tax avoidance. Second, UBI doesn't address the psychological need for purpose and meaning that work provides. Money without meaning leads to social decay we're already seeing in communities with high unemployment. Third, UBI doesn't fix wealth inequality. It actually cements it. The property owners who control the AI and automation will accumulate wealth at unprecedented rates while everyone else receives subsistence payments. Fourth, UBI doesn't account for the inevitable inflation it would create. When everyone suddenly has $1,000 more per month, prices adjust accordingly. 
Finally, UBI doesn't establish a new social contract for the post-labor economy. It's a band-aid on a system that's fundamentally changing. Now, when we look at this problem from a quantum perspective, we understand that everything that exists in our physical reality had to first exist in the spiritual realm. The quantum entanglement between technology and human purpose isn't accidental. There's a spiritual dimension to work that transcends mere economics. Quantum dynamics suggests that we aren't just witnessing technological change. We're witnessing a fundamental shift in human consciousness and purpose. Whatever we deeply desire to accomplish, we've already accomplished it in the quantum realm. Everything that happens along the way is just a lesson, not happening to hurt us, but to teach us. If you can dial into this mindset, the fear begins to dissipate. We aren't necessarily afraid of the cost of something that we know is beneficial. Fear takes hold when we face the unknown. So how do you prepare for this shift? Let me give you five specific strategies. Number one, become a platform stakeholder. The future belongs to those who own the platforms, not just those who use them. Invest in companies developing AI and automation technologies. Buy fractional shares if you can't afford full ones. Look for platforms offering user ownership models and consider crypto projects where users own the protocol. Companies like NVIDIA, Microsoft, and Google are obvious choices, but look deeper at picks and shovel plays. The companies making the infrastructure that powers AI. Most importantly, support and invest in platforms that distribute ownership to users. In the coming years, we'll see more user-owned platforms where value is shared with the community, not just extracted. Number two, develop AI complementary skills. Instead of competing with AI, focus on skills that complement it. AI prompt engineering and AI system design, human AI collaboration facilitation, AI output verification and quality control, AI ethics and oversight, emotional intelligence, and deep human connection. The most valuable employees will be those who can harness AI's capabilities while adding a uniquely human element. Focus on skills that require embodied knowledge, emotional intelligence, and ethical judgment. Remember, AI can process information, but it cannot feel or experience. Your lived human experience is your competitive advantage. We will be teaching the top AI skills you need to know in My AI School with comprehensive courses and live classes. Learn more at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs. Number three, build community resilience. As the economy transforms, local communities will become crucial social and economic units. Start or join local skill sharing networks Invest in community-owned businesses and cooperatives. Learn practical skills that serve local needs. Build strong social connections in your neighborhood and participate in community governance. The post-labor economy will reward those who can create value outside traditional employment structures. Communities with strong social fabric and shared resources will weather economic transitions better than isolated individuals relying solely on government transfers. Number four, develop multiple revenue streams. Don't rely on a single source of income. Instead, start a side business leveraging AI. Monetize hobbies and passions. Invest in income-producing assets. Uh, Join the ownership economy through stocks, real estate. Create intellectual property that generates royalties. The goal is to shift from wage dependency to ownership and diversification. Even small steps toward multiple income streams dramatically increase your resilience. In our AI labs, I will give you skills that translate to income if you're ready to apply yourself and learn. Learn more at firstmovers.ai forward slash labs. Number five, cultivate spiritual alignment. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, cultivate spiritual alignment. Define purpose beyond employment. Practice gratitude and abundance mindset. Develop daily spiritual practices. Build faith in divine provision and focus on value creation, not just compensation. When you align spiritually, you position yourself to see opportunities others miss. You move from fear-based decision-making to purpose-driven action. 
Remember, your spirit can see the future. Your conscious mind cannot. Tap into that wisdom through prayer and drawing close to the Creator. Listen, the next three years will reshape human civilization as we know it. The post-labor economy is coming faster than anyone predicted. But this isn't the end. It's a transformation. And those who prepare now won't just survive they'll thrive. UBI may be part of the solution, but your personal preparation will make all the difference. Hit subscribe so I can keep you ahead of these changes. Don't miss out. Let's navigate this transition together. Drop a comment below with your thoughts on how we should prepare for the post-labor economy. Need help implementing AI within your organization? Our trained AI experts and integrators can streamline and simplify your entire tool stack, build custom workflows that connect or improve upon what you have, and then train your entire team so they are all on the same page on how to use the powerful workflows in their arsenal. To see if you're a good fit for our elite consulting and coaching services, go to firstmovers.ai forward slash coaching to book a call. Until next time, stay prepared and prosper. I'll see you down the next rabbit hole.